This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. No music, no dance. Stand up, set your goal. We've got India's best social entrepreneurs coming face to face with five impact investors. These social entrepreneurs are looking for investment and funding to scale their enterprises. But it's not going to be easy. They have to go through challenges after challenges. And only those who prove themselves worthy will have a seat in front of the investors to negotiate a deal. Last week, our investors put each of our contestants through their very first challenge. They had 30 seconds to make an impression. I have made it my life's mission to provide access to dignified sanitation to every mother, daughter, and sister of this country. My product has made me every woman's best friend. I'm the Peabody. For some, it was almost their last impression. For others, they loved the pressure. Lucky for them, that was just a warm-up round because the real game begins now. And in 2012, I was elected as Power 30 Under 30. Thank you. Great wow. resume, but what do you do? And all our judges are right here. But where is Jaysh? He's waiting patiently in an elevator. For what? For our first challenge, of course. Hey, I'm here. Jay, hi, hi. Good morning. Good How, are you? You? How are you? Excellent. All well. How are you liking this? Uh... Oh, it's terrific. I'm yeah. ready. How are you? Excellent. You know. A common rule amongst entrepreneurs is that they need to know how to pitch so well that if they ever find themselves in an elevator with an investor, that investor would understand their business till the time it takes him or her to get to his floor. Well, you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to give each one of our 12 entrepreneurs a random, everyday, useless object and have them pitch it in under 30 seconds to one of our investors. You know what it's like? It's like selling a fridge to an Eskimo in under 30 seconds. The objective of the entrepreneur is to interest our investor so much that he or she receives a business card. Our four investors will be watching live feed from the set. And of course, our coach and advisor will be there hoping for the best too. Perhaps one of the most difficult to impress investors is none other than our Jayesh. Jayesh is a no-nonsense type of a guy. And he's not going to go easy on each of our entrepreneurs today. Am I right? Well, it depends on the pitch. That's right. The challenges over the coming weeks are going to get tougher and tougher. And every challenge is going to ruthlessly test the abilities of each of our contestants. From now on, their performance will be judged meticulously by our investors with a score from 1 to 10. The sum of points received from each judge will appear next to the contestants' names on our scoreboard. This scoreboard will also reflect the current ranking of contestants. Those in the lower half are in the danger zone and are at the risk of being eliminated soon. After every task, points will keep getting added against the contestants' names. This ensures that the contestants get to make up for their performances over the length of the show and can move up or down the rankings as the show progresses. No Hi, Jesse. Good morning. Morning, Shika. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Good. Do you have any idea what's going on right now? I suppose an elevator. Good thinking. Good guess. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you really quickly because you've got 30 seconds to pitch this to Jayesh Farik. Can you do it? To sell it to him? Sell it to him. Yeah, I can do that. Good luck. Thank you. Get the real deal. 
Uh, hello, my name is Jesse, and I would like to show the Probal 3000 to you. This is a special device that is designed by the best of um, uh, professors in psychology from Harvard using the newest materials and technologies. Uh, you give it to any kid in the age group from two to seven, eight years old, and they'll be silent for hours. To be playing it, they'll be amazed by this texture, by the lights, by the colors, by the sounds that you can make with it, and guaranteed you will have no, uh, no troubles with them at all. And it comes for only 50 rupees. Okay, good. You uh, never said anything about how many you are going to sell and uh, how long it's going to take you, but uh, you did well. <laughs> Get the real deal. Hi, Shelly. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Shika. You've got exactly 30 seconds to pitch this in that elevator to Jayesh Parikh. Good okay. luck. Okay. Thank you. Get the real deal. Hi, Jayesh. Um, I need to want to tell you about this duck. The, uh, you have kids at home and those kids oftentimes uh, use this duck in the bathtub but the normal uh, but, uh, ducks are toxic in nature. This is totally non-toxic, it's biodegradable and here's the coolest part, it makes this awesome noise which relaxes the kids and so they stop crying when they're like in the bathtub and taking the bath with their moms. Uh, if you can give me your business card I would love to tell you more about this and send more information about this duck. Two. Well, if you think that was tough, it's only going to get tougher. Hi, Nikhil. Hi, Shika. How are you doing? Good. Well, I've got a very, very tough challenge for you. You have got to pitch this to Jayesh Parikh in that elevator in less than 30 seconds. Good luck. Got it. Get the real thing. Hi, Jayesh. Does this look like a simple comb to you? A little hairpiece, but it's not. This is a traditional product that we can sell to women, but the special qualities of it are that it can be used to teach counting and multiplication and division to small children. Because of the number of hairs, little pins on this device, you can actually teach small kids how to multiply and divide because it has 12 little dots. Uh, along with that, it's made of this uh, special material where if little kids chew it, it actually has iodine and iodine, which is good for their nutrition. Thank you. You're trying to sell something that you can't use. That's a good job. Get the real deal. Wow, Jayesh seems to be in a much better mood now. Let's see what Akash can bring to the table. Is the sky his limit? See, what I have for you in store today, it's a version, a better version of Oculus Rift. With just one glass, without any hassles, you can just put it on like this and you can have a better vision. With no hassles, Oh, with, 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 uh... What was that, Jesh? What just happened? He just froze. Oh my goodness, that's so unfortunate. But hopefully he'll rebound. Next up, we've got Nilima. But before she gets into this elevator, let's find out a little bit more about her. back in the US. It is a challenge being far away from home where I grew up. I'm Nilima Achwal from Aisha Learning. I started Aisha last year. Aisha is a 10 module course on gender and sexuality. Not only do we give them the core information on things like puberty, reproduction, menstruation, consent, but we go beyond that. In every single session, lots of different ways of engaging the kids. We've seen some really amazing outcomes coming out of like kids' confidence levels going up a lot. So Aisha is completely self-financed right now. We're just entering the market and schools across the board are, are really desperate for this sort of curriculum. Hi, Nilima. Hi, Shika. Congratulations on Aisha. I really love it. Love what you're doing. It's fabulous. Thank you. I've got a little bit of a spicy challenge for you okay. here. Okay. I need you to pitch this to Jayesh Parikh inside that elevator in less than 30 seconds. Okay. Your objective is to get his business card. Good okay. luck. Sounds good. Thank you. Get the real deal. 
Hi Jayesh, this is the Red Chili Challenge. There's hundreds and thousands of students graduating from universities in the US and Europe who have never left their countries. But it's time for them to embark on an adventure. When they go to the emerging world, they fall sick because of the chilies in their foods. What's more, they're unprepared for the adventures that they'll get into. And so we do the Red Chili Challenge at universities, raise money, help these kids break out of their comfort zones and go on trips. The Red Chili Challenge for every university across the overseas. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Hello, sir. I am Siddhi. Uh, so this is a wonderful product here. So this is best to use in office. Like this duck, it is out of water, but out of its comfort zone, but it's still smiling. So this gives an inspiration to all the employees at your office that even if they have some difficult situations, they have to be like this duck, smiling all the time. Plus, it makes a superb sound like this. So whenever you have a good news coming into your office, something good happening, somebody's got some order, you can just do this and the entire office becomes like, whoa, we got something. Thank you. Well, that was awkward. The drama is building and building and we're going to have more right after this break.